Hi Sagittarius, welcome back to Clear Compassion here with Deirdre and Kiwi. So we're looking to see what clarity can come through on our messages today. We're starting off as always with our soul truth. So let's see what's going on. And then we're going to, yeah, I think we're going to pull in the Calvary. So calling all angels. I feel like some support is needed out there. Thank you so much, angel guides. Here we go. Am I ready to let go of this buried shame? Oh, good. Kiwi. Kiwi like, oh, goodness. All right. So this feeling of shame is the lowest energy frequency there is. It's, it's right up there with guilt, right? So when we live in shame, we're living in darkness. Now, don't take this the wrong way. It doesn't mean that you did something so terrible that it was shameful. It sometimes is just our way that we're looking at ourselves and so a part of you is ready to stand into the light. In other words, you know, if you wanted to take directive on something that you've been procrastinating, right, then you can carry some shame in that because you're better than that and you know it. So if there's any shame also from your past, um, whether it was an experience, you know, from another party or yourself, you're ready to heal that as well. Only you guys can tell me what that shame is, but... Let's get right into it. So let's use our Kipper cards first. And this is more about our um, everyday activities, right? The 3D world. And then we'll start with our spirit guides. Thank you so much, angels. All right. So first we have unexpected income. This, welcome, right? Because this could be something that you were working on. And all of a sudden, um, you know, People are noticing you and or noticing your product and they're ready to start making purchases. For some of you who are working uh, for a company, right? This is like somebody noticing the efforts that you've been putting forth. So a bonus is coming in. This is fantastic. This is like a small amount of wealth, right? It's a bonus. It's a gift. Um, it's, it's a corrected financial error. Uh, so again, if you're doing your taxes, right, uh, and then you find out, oh my God, I don't owe as much as I thought, or you're getting a refund instead of owing. So who doesn't want this? That's for sure. All right. So gratification and reward are headed your way. Let's continue. There is something of concern on your mind. Again, 33 is, is the change, right? The threes are about our growth and our lessons. So something um, that is causing concern for you, it could just be a time for contemplation, right? So the window of the light is saying that you're, you're just taking a moment. Um, it's like, I need a minute, right? And the reason why is because you're not ready to make um, a, a specific decision or sign any documents because you have concerns over the manner. And when that happens, you do the right thing, right? You just wait. You kind of um, just think about all the different reasons why something is causing you to take a step back. All right. So for this matter of concern, this could be a, a, a lack of freedom. It could be related to depression. It could be confusion, right? Unable to actually make a decision. So whatever this inability to focus on, this is where, you know, knowledge is, is, is great, but wisdom uh, leads to less pessimism and do not fear rejection. Every every time we do something, whether we win or lose, it is about the exploration of what we're doing, right? It is the process that brings progress here. Also, 37, poverty. Some of you may be in that feeling of, I don't have enough, or my finances are being depleted. Now, again, this is about a scenario to learn from. So in other words, if there was something that you decided to do and then, you know, you feel like um, it's almost like buyer's remorse, but it, it's something different than that, but it's in that same element. For whatever reason, you feel like you're in a bad position, right? And so there is this scarcity, both in the physical and emotional and so when we're in that mindset, 
then we're more vulnerable to any kinds of danger. So you are not unequipped to meet your basic needs. So they want you to realize that you're good where you stand and do not let any circumstance envelop you into a mindset of this is not good, right? You don't want to uh, increase that anxiety or worry level because again, be grateful for every little thing that comes your way, especially with this unexpected income. Uh, that saying that I've always had is, you know what? I've always been... Um, um, even Steven, I always break even. And I used to be so upset that I only had enough instead of accepting and appreciating the gift that allowed me to have enough, right? I always, I do want more. I strive for more like everybody else. But I wasn't appreciating the fact that I already had my needs being met. And so, again, stay out of that poverty mindset, imprisonment that's all it is it's self-imprisoned thoughts and when we do that to ourselves right that's where we start to feel trapped and we start isolating ourselves uh, whether it is a job situation that you want to get out of right well be grateful for the job that you have that provides food for your table setting but that if you if you appreciate that you're going to be in a better frame of mind so that you when you get home from work can stay focused on that side hustle whatever whatever new um, creative project that you want to do or if it's working for somebody else right how you can physically take care of yourself and mentally prepare uh, for your exit but for now stay out of the imprisoned mindset as well because you have the key here and you're going to have a little angel that keeps whispering see the mouse here that's your guardian angel saying hey i got you we can get through this all right toil and labor yeah for some of you it is about how we had to work constantly and we did it tirelessly because it was our innate ability to perform. In addition to that, that toil and labor is just focusing only on work and no play and not really getting anywhere, right? I mean, you were, you were maybe increasing your finances at the time, but it really wasn't fulfilling for you. So when you have the toil and labor card, think about how... Um, you feel like there's no advancement, right? Well, you have the freedom of choice. So if you want to do something different, only you can make that decision. Okay? Good intentions sometimes are not the way forward because we can all have good intentions, but it is the actions that follow those good intentions that get us somewhere. Despair. What is going on? How depressing. Goodness gracious, I can't wait till the angels start to come in. So despair is, again, that poverty mindset. It is looking at things through the, the lens of my cup is half empty, right? And so despair is the server of stress. This is like either unemployment, mental exhaustion, jealousy. It's like not expecting too much from others. Uh, it's closing off from the world, right? Uh, it's not panic. It's just like, like this card represents feeling sorry for yourself. And yet there is comfort around you. You have to change this. If you don't change this, you will not take the key and release yourself. Let's see what's happening. What, what's the outcome here? Mature woman. Okay. So if you are older, okay, you are wiser than you were 20 years ago, 30 years ago, right? 40 years ago. Use that wisdom. How would you speak to another person, right? How would you counsel somebody who was in this despair? Because... The mature woman is a good listener. She advises well, right? And so you have to look at yourself as somebody 
coming to you. It, it's almost like you have to speak to yourself in the mirror and find a way to connect with somebody who is on your same intellectual level that can be an influencer, somebody that's well-educated and seek this person out for guidance. Because even though you're on your own soul course, this journey does require you to connect with the outside world. The house. Yes, the house is our comfort zone, right? It is where we can hide or we can express ourselves. So when you look at this house, what do you see? Are you seeing the fact that um, I want to change my house? I want to move from my current location? Or are you looking at this where uh, I'm, I'm trying to search for a way that I could have long-term stability, right? Did I make a good investment? Where is my security? Where is my safe job? Where is my steady relationships? All of those things are represented in the house card here. One more. Courtship. For some that are lonely, it doesn't mean that you have to get into a romantic relationship. Sometimes we just have to go outside of ourselves and outside of our home to meet up with new groups of people so that you can see the contrast between yourself and others and what resonates and what doesn't. When we have the know-all to go outside of ourselves, right? That's when you start having these friendly encounters and, and you have a place to where you can get together and experience things um, through this friendship, if you will. It is either public or private meetings Whatever it is, be open to this, is what Spirit is saying. Start searching for new relationships that will help you. Because in communication, as you start to express yourself and also become the better listener, you get to learn so much more that's going to help you on your way. Now, let us, yeah, first we're going to do these angels. We're going to see how we can help you through this. Thank you so much, angels. Ancestors and higher beings, what messages do you have for Sagittarius? Aww. Manifestation power. You see that? Does this card not look so much better than this? Right? So this is about you using your spiritual gifts and your natural abilities to attract your desired outcome. Again, this looks like Archangel Michael here, right? So it's about you spreading your wings and expressing your beautiful butterfly colors and looking at the world in a place of there is so much out there for me to have, to learn, to experience. I have full control over that. So I'm going to start calling it in and I'm going to see how the angels coordinate for me to experience these wonderful things. Also, we have mediumship. So for some of you, it is time for you to actually go and get a, a, a psychic reading, okay? Find somebody that um, you connect with, and it could be any kind of mediumship. Um, there are psychics who can help you with ancestral line, or some of you, some of them um, can do your birth chart. You know, it's whatever intrigues you. And so they're showing me actually like a strip mall. So it, it might be that you're going to see this, right? You might see um, psychic readings here or something like that. And so it's going to draw you in, which is really nice. But this is where you have the natural ability to connect with um, departed loved ones. And so they want you to, to concentrate on that. It's like past life history, past relationships uh, could be a father figure because uh, that's what I'm seeing but it's about you making that connection through a mediumship so even if you get like an advertisement online that spirit saying hey tap here right sign up for this okay visualize your success people this is how we all 
start to manifest with power and confidence. It is by seeing yourself doing well, right? Um, so if you're in that modality right now where you have a project and it hasn't taken off yet, you have to start visualizing every night before you go to bed, you know, the purchases that are being made, the fact that you're boxing up um, articles for shipment, right? It's, it's not about you having it in it's like, it's not in paper form. It's in your mind's eye is what they're telling me. Okay. Because you will do well with this situation when, when you can visualize it in advance. Right. And then you bottle that with your faith. Okay. With a positive outcome, it will come into fruition. Oh my God, a God box. Heck yeah. I love this. This card is so good. A God box is it's similar to a journal where we write down our manifestations, things that we desire. Good. Uh, it's, it, it, it's not all about manifesting um, material articles, right? It's also about what you want to do away with. What kind of changes do you want in your life, right? And it's that special God box that becomes the container. It's where you can like put it on an index card and just throw it in the box and just know that God and the angels will provide this for you. Doesn't matter what time frame it takes place in. It's just the all knowing that it's going to happen, right? So it correlates with the visualization of success. So you can just say, you know what, here's my God box and you let the divine help you let them work it out. You just keep your eye on your own paper and what you need to do just to get through your day and start visualizing everything coming into place. Lastly, we have emotional sensitivity. You may have this right now, and this is basically because of the full moon. Uh, some of you may have lost a lot of sleep over the past two days, right? And the full moon is just because it is that dark shadow that is... Um, bringing up, raising up anything that needs to have light shed on it so that it can be released. It has to be acknowledged. It has to be accepted. And then it has to be given back to Mother Earth, right? So this is about you honoring and, and, and respecting your sensitive side right now because that is the gift that we all carry. It is the true compassion that we serve ourselves before we can also sell, serve others. I need a drink of water. Excuse me. Okay. Let's keep going. Now we're on the right ride. I like it. All right. So let's go on. We'll do a little bit with uh, Kyle Gray's energetic vibrations here. Let's see what the angels have to say. Thank you so much. Here we go. Aw, inner child healing. This is very interesting because in the beginning of the reading, we were talking about, you know, uh, the mediumship and connecting to um, a past life, a past loved one. So inner child healing could be something um, as far back as, um, you know, a death that took place that really... I don't want to say traumatized you, but it never went away. And so when we're talking about inner child, this part of you is you telling that sweet girl or that sweet child, right? That you love her and that you don't have to fight to survive anymore. You don't have to work hard and scrape and toil and labor, wherever that card was. I mean, this is just, ugh, right? It's like spinning yarn all day long, but never really getting anywhere. So you're past that point in your life. So it's time to heal any old wounds. And if you say, I don't have any, okay, 
I want you to sit and lie down on the floor and just surrender, right? Lie in stillness and close your eyes and just listen to some wind chimes or any kind of um, flute music and let your spirit guide you to that healing part of your soul and see what rises for you, okay? So that you can release this thing that you think you don't have. <laughs> Also, ease and grace. Ease into this line of meditation because when we learn to adapt and slow down, right, we then will decrease our personal expectation of trying to hurry things along. And for many of us who uh, either worked on a deadline constantly, uh, always had people counting on us, we always felt that pressure. And in order to achieve uh, those goals on a weekly basis, we were constantly just running the clock out and not really taking good care of ourselves. Well, now in this time of your life, you're able to move with this ease and grace. And if you're not doing so, that's what spirit wants for you most. You can still accomplish everything you set out to do, but in a peaceful way. One more. Listen, oh, excuse me, listen deeply. I'm sorry, I got cat hair in my mouth. <laughs> All right, Kiwi, let me move that tail. All right, so listen deeply is just that. When we talk about meditation, it is don't ignore me says you right? When your heart is calling on you to pay attention, that is your spirit guide and your guardian angel saying, take a moment and look at this where the angels are saying that they want you to listen to your inner voice, okay? They want you to listen to that voice so that you can grow through this. Avoiding something that keeps repeating in you uh, or in your head, right, is preventing expansion. So really impressive, impressing upon you today about meditative practices. Let me see. Okay, I'm going to pull one angel card. Whether you ask a question or not, this card may be the reason you chose this reading. If it doesn't resonate with you, pay no mind to the message here, all right? And then we'll finish off with Archangel Michael. Kiwi. Thank you so much, angels. Here we go. There's something better. Wow. So whatever you're working on, I feel like this came up in your last reading. There's something better. Something that's much bigger, but the biggerness of it is the fulfillment. It's like your cup needs to be filled with fine wine, not something that's distasteful. And so they're, they're saying to you, it's okay to have a hobby. It's okay to you know, have these little projects because you're expanding your creativity side. However, when it comes to what you really want to get your teeth into, they're saying that there's something better that you're more equipped for and that in turn will be more satisfying for you as well. Now, let's finish off with Archangel Michael's advice for you guys. Thank you, Kiwi. You're almost done, babe. All right, here we go. Thank you, Archangel Michael, for your loving compassion, your swords that cut all the cords, for your timeless protection. Aw, time to make a decision, people. All right, so are you choosing to prioritize yourself or another in a situation? Um, I feel like it's about yourself. You, you definitely want to prioritize you first. Uh, that's, that's not selfish. That's, that's how we move in life. Because if you're not whole, you can't give any parts of you away, right? And you have to accept the divine guidance that's pointing you toward your own joy. So don't ignore any signs that are being provided to you from the heavens above. This could come in many forms. It can come in the feathers because that's what I'm seeing. A lot of feathers on the ground. I'm seeing coins like dimes, 
um, where you're in deep thought about something and you're walking across the floor and a dime is there and you have no idea where it came from, right? Those are your little angels saying, hey, we got you and we want you to pay attention to what's bothering you right now. Sit for a minute, right? And just um, ground yourself so that you can see what's happening in your world. You deserve to be loved. You deserve everything in this world that it has to offer. But first, we have to resolve any discomfort that's in our soul. Okay, that's all I have for you today, Sagittarius. Take care of yourselves.